This is my Tom Chitwood knife. Tom is a good friend here on YouTube who made knives for a while and uh, fortunately got in a motorcycle accident and hasn't been able to, to do it since. Beautiful knife, super sturdy. And this is a custom sheath by Jeremiah at Country Pepper. He has a Kydex business, and you can see how nice. It's got a little ferro rod. I sent him this knife, so he made it specifically for it. Retention is excellent. Doesn't, I mean, just doesn't wiggle. By the way, Tom, if you're watching, bud, we miss you. Hope you're feeling well. Little hike this morning out on the uh, Wild Isaiah Trail. It's actually New Year's Day. This just won't come out on New Year's, but it is New Year's Day, and uh, it's nice and early. Everybody at the house is sleeping in, and I decided to come out and hike around. Actually scouting out for a bushcraft overnighter. <clears throat> Definitely think I found my spot. Not far off the trail, but near some water, and I think it's going to work really, really well. So, plan on packing in a little bit of weight, so I don't want it to be too far in to the trail. It's a beautiful day. It'll be a high of about 50 today. Bluebird skies. So I figured I'd come out here and make some coffee. We're gonna make some coffee with uh, a drip coffee system. It's from GSI, I don't remember the exact model. I'll put it down below. And uh, also using my Firebox stove, Gen 2 Nano. I'll show you guys that. But let's finish processing a little bit of wood and uh, we'll get that thing going. And guys, it's been raining like crazy here. All this outside bark is, is wet, so I would just suggest just getting off the wettest part while it's still in one piece just to get this moisture all this lichen and stuff will make getting your fire started a little bit easier Alright guys, as always, we got a fire kit from the Hidden Woodsman, and we've got the Firebox Gen 2 Nano. Did a video on this already. This X case is designed to sit down on the bottom here. It's not windy. I'm not going to need a windscreen today. Here's the Nano itself. Really simple. Just folds right on out. And you can see it's got little ports here. There. And there for your wood and I actually put my ports like this I'm gonna make sure that my wood fits in there it should I should have enough to get it started and then if I have to go back and split some more I will I'm just gonna cross these like that Y'all see me start a bunch of fires on this channel. Today we're gonna do probably the most difficult fire challenge yet. It's with a big lighter and a piece of cotton round that's dipped in wax. This is don't try this unless you're a really experienced outdoorsman or woman. You know, you definitely want to let this grow a little bit. These these twigs, they're wet, guys. I mean, it's it's wet out here. Okay. So we're just going to try to kind of put these across the top and see if we can start getting them to go. Notice I'm bridging them across the top of the stove here so that I don't put that out. Once it starts going, we'll be all right. Now I've got a pretty good little dam on top there. I can just stack stuff on top. So we're going to let this start to catch. All right, let's see how this goes. I'm just going to keep adding little pieces and then we'll show y'all in a little bit what we're going to boil our water in
Oh, uh, there's no dry wood out here, guys. I'll tell you that. I'd have to split things down more, which I could. I kind of don't feel like it, because I think this will work just fine. <laughs> this is probably where I cut into my failed attempt and try number two, but let's see. I don't think so. Now, I'm pleased with this so far. What we're going to do right now is we're going to put in some oxygen. And we're going to do that like we talked about with the pocket bellows. And by doing that, we should be able to catch these bottom pieces here a little bit better. And I think that we'll have ourselves the start of coffee. There you go. You can hear, if y'all listen, you can hear the moisture. Like I said, you can hear the moisture, see it. Once this gets going like this, we can start to boil our water, which is what we're gonna do. Because at this point, these side pieces, you can even see this one's burnt through. We'll just take that and put it on top. And you can keep feeding from the sides and the bottom here. We're gonna boil our water today in our Expedition Research Expedition Kettle. We're going to make our coffee with this GSI coffee drip. It just pops out like that. We've got today for water is our titanium canteen, titanium cup. I made this pretty cool little koozie for it. And the cool thing is you can flip out the butterflies and you can hold it like that. Just keep pushing those in, guys. That's how you keep it rolling. So we've got our mug. And what we'll do, basically, is just put this on there. One negative to this system is that you do have to carry coffee filters, but that's all right. For day hikes like today, this is great. So we will make our coffee directly into our thing. We're gonna put some coffee in here. Of course, you guys know that we've got our heavy cream. Let me show you all this. Now, even as dry as that stuff looked, look at that oak. Just bubbling out the moisture. That's crazy. Y'all can see, I mean, this was been real time, basically. That fire was basically dead. I mean, it was really struggling. Use that pocket bellows. Look at this thing. It's just rolling. And now I do have a rolling boil. So let's make some coffee. All right, guys, when you do drip coffee, you wanna just add a little bit at first, like that, and let the coffee kind of absorb. And then you can just start dripping it through. I just like to add a little bit. Let it keep rolling. I don't know if you guys can hear all the gunfire in the background, but it's definitely hunting season. Oh yeah. That'll do it. Oh yeah, that's where the money is. Not a lot better than real drip coffee. I haven't really thought a lot about what, what I talk about. I wasn't really planning on talking much actually, but I'm out here, so. Just did my 10,000 subscriber giveaway, uh, which was great, just awesome. And um, really excited to give that stuff away. 
had my live stream, first live stream, which was a day, a day delayed, as everyone who was there knew. Had some issues come up, and I forgot the original live stream time. But uh, it worked out great. We ended up doing a live stream the next night, and it was awesome. Had about 50, 55 people. And it was a great conversation, just a lot of fun. It's kind of nice, really enjoyed it. And I have to be honest with y'all, the encouragement I got from everyone that, that joined into the live stream, everybody's so positive. It really energizes me to keep doing what I've been doing. If you're not a content creator, then you don't know what goes on in your mind. In general, I try to do what I like to do, but at the same time, you also do want to create a popular channel and you want to do things you think people will like. Anyway, I don't want to get too far off topic, but well, actually I can't because there is no topic. So anyway, I just want to say thank you. You know, this year has been great for the channel. I, I really don't know how many subscribers I've grown in a year, but it's been quite a few. Um, I'm sure I could figure that out. Let's see if I can figure that out. So in the last 365 days, I've gained 3,000 subscribers. Um, I've probably lost a thousand. You guys don't see it, but it's constantly up and down. People leave all the time. It's pretty awesome, 3,000 subscribers in a year. So I really appreciate everyone. And the point of what I was trying to say was the encouragement that everybody gives me and the positive feedback is so big because this, this takes a lot of time. It's, it's a lot of effort to do YouTube. Uh, if you don't realize it, then just get a camera and go out there and try to film yourself doing stuff like this, moving the camera around, thinking about camera angles. You know, you can just go out there and just pop it out, just turn the camera on and do your thing and don't edit it. It's not fun though, I mean, it's, it's, it's just kind of basic and I don't think that people are gonna watch it. I wouldn't wanna watch it. So I try to make it more watchable and enjoyable. So what are the YouTube goals for 2019? Obviously, continue to grow the channel. Uh, I'd like to get out and do at least two or three overnighters this year. I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but I, I'm not Joe Robinette, this isn't my job. Uh, God bless Joe, um, and I think it's awesome that he gets to do that and support his family that way. But, you know, I have a full-time job, I've got two kids, and, and honestly, the, the goal for 2019 for me is simple, it's just to be a better husband and be a better dad. The rest of this is just, you know, um, fun. Uh, that's what's most important by far. I get a lot of that from my subscribers. There's a lot of community and a lot of just positivity, and I can't thank you guys enough. I try to bring a positive attitude to YouTube. I try to uh, be upbeat all the time. Of course, I'm not always upbeat. Uh, everything doesn't go perfect, but I certainly have no room to complain. My life is, is really amazing. Um, Really amazing. And it has nothing to do with titanium canteens and Hidden Woodsman Day Rocks. Like I said in my live stream, I'm gonna to try to focus this year on outdoor cooking. Uh, do a lot more outdoor cooking videos, in particular, I mean, you know, outdoor over an open fire cooking. Some of it will be using some of my stoves, whether it be my Firebox Nano or my new Firebox 5 inch. Gen 2, which is amazing, but also out over an open fire and trying different things. Uh, low carb, of course, some of it will be low carb, the most of it will be low carb. Uh, keto, paleo, whatever you might be. I have quite a few followers that follow that type of diet or lifestyle, I should better say. Uh, but also other stuff, just trying to learn new things, trying to keep things as diverse as I can here on the channel without being overly diverse because over being overly diverse doesn't help your YouTube channel at all. That's what leads to people leaving because, you know, you can have a thousand bushcraft or hiking videos in a row and then you publish one video about making a bench and you get 50 unsubscribes. <laughs> it's crazy. If you don't know, I have started a new channel, Paleo Maker MD, because I do like to do things out in the shop. So just a quick plug for that. If you like uh, making things, DIY projects, uh, wood turning, uh, stuff like that, link down below. Make sure you give me a subscription, really helps. Appreciate that. My hope is to make that a viable YouTube channel as well. Um, there's a lot of things that I do in life that I don't film uh, that I'd like to, but like I said, it doesn't fit in on the channel, so I decided to make a second channel. Uh, it's not my focus, this, this channel remains my focus, but it gives me an opportunity to publish other things. Anyway, I don't think I'm gonna make any oatmeal this morning. I'm just gonna enjoy the quiet. It was absolutely beautiful this morning. And the clouds have rolled in. It's not supposed to rain, so it's been raining like crazy here in Louisiana. Um, 
lots of storms and lots of rain, just really crazy stuff. Hope you guys see how easy it is to come out in the woods. That's what I like to do, just come out here, process some wood, get my mind off things, um, start a little fire, make some coffee and just enjoy myself. And apparently, some of you guys like to come along and watch me do it, so that's pretty cool. I uh, hope to learn more things this year. That's a very big part of this channel is learning. Uh, I hope to interact with everyone a lot more as well. I finally have the community tab available to me. I've been using it in the last couple months, but it allows me to interact with you guys a lot more, which is fun. I'm planning on doing some polls to see what kind of gear y'all want to me to review and stuff like that. So in fact, I might put out a poll a little later today. I'm gonna stop talking, drink a little coffee, probably shoot a little bit of video on the way out here packing up and stuff. I just want to thank everyone for a great 2018 and I hope you guys will stick around for 2019 and beyond. Stay tuned soon for lots of cool videos. I'm going to be putting up my Paleo Hiker MD patches up for sale soon. Pretty limited quantity, only about 80 of those available. I'm going to post that with the price uh, here probably in the next couple of weeks once I get myself ready to start shipping stuff. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, once again, guys, I appreciate, appreciate, appreciate everyone's support. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos this year here on Paleo Hiker MD.